So you all have been pleading for a budget gaming PC build. It seems like over time we've been upping the ante here in the studio and building more and more expensive computers, but I want to make an exception because a lot of you have been asking for a 600-ish US dollar gaming PC build, and I have one for you. Now this one's a little unorthodox. I didn't include an i3 or I didn't go with an FX 6300 or even an 8350 or any of that. I decided to go with a Pentium G4400. I wanted to kill two birds with one stone here. A few of you have been asking me about the performance of this CPU here with only two cores and two threads. That was two, I meant two. So we're gonna be able to tackle those uh, those specifications and how that translates to FPS and games and just you know raw CPU power. We'll run all those synthetic benchmarks and gaming benchmarks here shortly. Uh, but we also will be able to see how well it performs when paired with both a GTX 960 and a GTX 970. So um, I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna throw that into a different video. So go ahead and click the link here if you really want to see that video. It's not gonna be there if you're watching this one, you know, the day this has been uploaded. But uh, yeah, you can check that out if it is there. I think you will enjoy that. But for now, let's go ahead and run through uh, the specs for this, this new Pentium G4400 Skylake build, and then we'll throw some benchmarks at it as is. So here we go, folks, stay tuned. So I was a bit surprised. The Pentium G4400, when paired with our GTX 960, actually did quite well in games, especially considering the price tag of the computer itself. I mean, about 600 bucks, and you could actually cut back even more on that if you really wanted to. Uh, but about 600 US dollars will get you a rig that will play uh, all of these games at at least 30 FPS and 1080p, but some of them even above 60 FPS, which is quite nice to see. Games, of course, uh, that are very CPU intensive, such as GTA 5 and City Skylines, will struggle a bit more. But that's besides the point, you know, you can always down some settings and get those FPS back. So uh, yeah, you kind of got to play with the settings a bit, but that's a compromise you have to, you have to be willing to make uh, if you're going for a cheaper gaming rig. So apart from that, let me know what you think about the computer. Let me know what you'd like to see changed in the build. I don't know, I'm gonna throw that GTX 970 in there. Stay tuned for that one. Leak, like the video, leak, like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you dislike it for whatever reason. And let me know what you'd like to see in the future. This is Science Studio. Thanks for learning with us.